<laughs> we are live. Awesome. Welcome to this crazy Wednesday. It has been a bit of a whirlwind this morning. We were down with internet until maybe like 45 minutes ago. And so we have quickly gotten everything up and running um, since our internet kicked back on. So for, forgive us for being a little bit scattered this morning and also a little bit late. Um, so sorry about that. Oh, and here comes Denny. So got Melissa here with us today. Denny is just going to join us like normal for some good old conversation. And um, that's we're what he's good for. Yeah, that's what he's good for. We just have we have nice conversations. Um, I think we're going to have some fun today. Let's play. I, we're going to play with bubbles. So We've got a whole table here that's pretty clean. <laughs> Denny has plenty of opportunities to spill something. The goal so, is not to do that. Yes, but we did bring puppy pads because Melissa um, works at a vet center for a long time, so I feel like she probably has a closet full of these. Maybe. Maybe. Anyway, so, you know, just in case, we've got some spills here with our bubble and dye. Um, puppy pads, guys. Apparently, it's better than paper. Our medium is leather and puppy paper. <laughs> Awesome. And that's what we work with. Well, I tell you what, so we're just going to kind of get into it. We've got a lot of different dyes, so I'm going to assume you're going to show us the differences between some of these things and how they work with said bubbles. We've got off-brand Dawn dish soap here and lots of it. Let's see here. And, and, and water. water. And water. And straws. Straws. Okay. What, what, color what kind of dyes do we have? We have Angelus. Uh, Fee beans and Fenichi. And the Fenichi's water. Water based. based. Yes. So we've got two alcohol based dyes with the Fee beans and the Angelus and then our water based Fenichi's. So let's see here. So this is this is an example that um, Melissa whipped up yesterday here real fast. Tony, there we go. Um, so pretty fun. Really? Little, it looks really great. Yeah. Tie dye that bubble was thing. The Angelus purple and Fenichi. G blue. So we mixed. Yes. We mixed water and alcohol. They were useless the rest of the day. <laughs> <laughs> yes. and <laughs> oh goodness. It's been great. So we've just got so we're gonna do a project today. Um but first we're just gonna have some fun with some coasters. So we've got some good old four inch square coasters. Um we did do some little coasters with uh, a stamp on them that we resisted earlier, so that should be dry now, so we can see what it looks like if you um, have something that you're wanting to resist, like if you've got a fun tool piece, but then you want this bubble dye thing. We're going to see how that goes and see what it looks like. Um, that was a Tony request. I gave it to you this morning. demand. <laughs> Yeah, so we got the internet back, and I was like, hey, you need to find something to resist. That'll be fun. Yeah, yeah, so we did it. We got it. We got it done. Did we um, bring any resist in here with us? No. no. We use ProClear on oh, this. Okay. Yeah. We, and you probably, like, you need to have time to let it dry before you do the other thing. So we've got these things. Literally, we just took a coaster, stamped a letter in it. I stamped SLC on three coasters, and um, and then I just painted the resist, uh, just some ProClear, onto the letter. So that's what we did. Okay. Well, let's, Melissa, show us what we're doing. Okay. Uh, any color preferences to start with? Just pick a good one. Like, oh. probably green. That, that's usually a good one. Green. Purple's always good. And then we'll pick one of these. You know, the last time that we did this, we had dyes and stuff all open all over the table. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. See, and see it was a mess. We, we need that guy's dye holder. See, I like the Fenichi because even Where if I knock them over. Are they on your tip? Table, Denny? Yeah, let me go get him. Okay. Yeah. Better you than me. I tell you what, guys, if you have not used this Fenichi dye yet, every time I go to use it, I just appreciate how user friendly it is. Um, the bottles are really user friendly. They've got they've got this little like pour spout on the top here. They're pretty thick liquid, so they don't. They're just harder to get everywhere. Like, look at her; she's already making a mess over there. Because the bottle doesn't pour nicely because it doesn't have a little squirt. No, he's already top. stained. We brought gloves, Melissa. I, yeah. It's too late for that already. It is. I'm going to put some on because I don't want my hands to be dyed all day. <laughs> yeah. So the ratio of what you use isn't an exact science. Okay. I was going to say, you just kind of pour. We just I have some kinda, dye in some cups at this point. Yes. Um, you can change how much dye you want to use to get different, like, light tones, dark tones. Sure. 
And you just want just enough dish soap to make bubbles. You don't have to go overkill with it. Okay. So you're just pouring a little bit in there. We're just making soapy dye. You know, when you mix, because this is concentrated. Most soaps are concentrated. So, you, you know, you put a cup full of soap into your gallon of water and you've yeah. got bubbly water. So same, okay. same thing. Then we'll take the water. Okay. And not that's real. It. That's real full. Yes. Um, you want to fill it, but you want to leave enough room to make bubbles also in there. So you okay. don't want to overfill it. Like I'm probably here. We can help each other. See, that's good. There. Okay. And this one. Oops. Perfect. So we just got these about three quarters of the way full. Once again, they're just styrofoam cups that she has cut in half. Yeah, I don't want to blow bubbles all the way at the top because I'm lazy. Sure. And then you can grab. So we'll see why she's cut them in half. Apparently, there's a reason. Yes. And we've got the straws with the little squiggly things in the middle, but I'm sure that's not 100% necessary. So whatever, whatever straws you have, with the exception of, we will tell you that yesterday Melissa tried it with um, coffee stirs. With coffee stirs, and they're just not quite long enough. It just depends on if you want to be laying down when you're drinking this stuff. <laughs> I think your, your face is a lot closer with the coffee ones, mm -hmm. which can be dangerous. <laughs> Hopefully we won't demonstrate that for you today. Thankfully I wore a mask yesterday, so nobody saw my orange nose. <laughs> and I also recommend making sure you blow the bubbles. You don't inhale the bubbles because I also had purple lips. So <laughs> this could be a lot of fun for people. Okay. Yeah. Alcohol and water. <laughs> Grab a couple coasters and we'll just slap it on some of these. Okay. Oh, I also had a magazine uh, that was up here that had a suggestion for us to do a video. Do you remember what it was? Is that where we brought these big flat pieces? No. Mm -hmm. Good. It'll be a surprise after we get done with these bubbles. Yay. I mean, those big flat pieces are my project. What are your project? I'm going to make a, a, so we came out with a new kit. Uh, I don't know how long ago, it's been a little bit, um, a document holder. So um, you can either get it in veg tan or an oil tan. It's three pieces. Um, you sew them together, which we've got our class 20 over there to do. And then you can put, you know, documents in it. Okay, I'll get other pieces for you then. Thanks, Tony. Yay. Yay. All right. Okay. 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 Here, you each get... Oh, we get to do... I want to do the green one. Oh, fine. Do you care purple or orange? Hey, I'm just talking about this. <laughs> Congratulations, you're now orange. <laughs> okay. So. I'm scared, guys. I've never done this ever, ever before. It's really, really simple. You just blow. You guys are wearing gloves. I probably ought to wear. Yeah, you're full of hot air, aren't you? I am full of all the hot air. <laughs> you have to get perfect then. Okay. So, you're going to blow bubbles. And then knock the bubbles off onto the letter. This seems real dangerous. Oh, oh, Liz tipping her cup just a little bit. I know, and then they just kind of fall out. I think I did too. What are you doing there, Denny? I'm trying to get my bubble going. <laughs> <laughs> It's an art form. I'm See looking, there? I'm kind of just oh. getting. Yeah, so what's happening is when you're tipping it, you're actually spilling some of the dye. Oh. So you've made a dye base. Like you're drinking. Right. So, then you just got no, you don't inhale, Abigail. Yeah. What are the things <laughs> like if you blow too strongly, you'll get uh, splashes out? So, okay. See? And so you don't want to hover right over, so you kind of want to. So I'm just going to have Maybe a nice green and, base yeah. here that I can put something else on. Yeah. You can put another color over the top of it. I could. That orange doesn't look like it's doing much. Well, guess who's doing it? <laughs> Use their air. <laughs> I'm just really getting clear bubbles here. No, oh, and actually, I got my dye. Yep. Okay. Okay. So let's see here. This is, this is not the easiest thing, guys. I mean, it's not hard. It's just awkward. I feel like I'm in elementary school. It's a lot of fun. 
Okay, so I have a nice green base here. Look at that. Okay. What well, color would you like to put on top of your green base? Orange. Purple. Yeah, make her use orange. Yeah. Here. You can put purple on it. Okay. We'll do purple. I'll, I'll keep my germs over here with my straw. Thanks. Here, I'll see so on this one, I feel like maybe if we did less water, there would be a stronger green. I think part of your problem is user error. Because, well, hush. <laughs> Not over your project, Larry. I know, I'm sorry. You know how you want to do things over the trash can when they're messy? That's why I got puppy pads down. Now you see the purpose of those. You're really good at this. I've done it a time or two or ten. Well, that's probably a good idea. I'm just getting splotches. Yours looks great. Denny, you have no bubbles. Mine looks good. <laughs> you have dots. Yours is blobs. Mine, yeah. I feel like I'm starting to grip the It looks close. like there was a crime committed right there in that <laughs> one spot. You just, you just blow the bubbles. Okay. You blow your bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably a felony too. <laughs> See okay. how you actually get the little bubbles if you're yeah. gentle with it and you just don't yeah, I know. I just I wanted a lot of bubbles, and I just wanted to pile it on. But apparently, that's not what you do there. No, gentle. Okay. gentle bubbles. Okay. Well, that that was fun. Let's try it. Let's let's do some more. Okay. Well, can we? Let's do. I think you ought to do something with it. Need some help. Denny's like, do. Denny didn't get green. I mean, that was kind of it's kind of the blob. Do you, here. You can practice. Okay. I need any, I need any help. color you want. Let's try the green again. Let's okay. See if we can get something that's not just a color. And then you just take some. Bubbles. I blow just a little bit more so you have a mound of them and then just gently swipe them off. I'd say getting them off the cup is the hardest part. Yeah, if you have some cups, like they'll overflow and you can, they'll fall nicely and you can pat them on there for you. Um, oh, okay, guys, this is actually coming out a lot better. You just want it to like pop and leave its little outline. I hope everybody at home is really enjoying this. <laughs> I bet the amount of soap that you put in it has a lot to do with how... That's what I was saying. I wonder if we upped our soap content if it would carry some more of the dye over. I think you're still going to get the same size bubbles. Yeah. So I've tried different size straws, too, to get different size bubbles. Doesn't matter. Just, Doesn't matter. How about the, the amount of soap? So I've I've over soaked some of them because I like soap. What happens then? You get it just makes bubbles. Little bubbles or yeah. big bubbles. So <laughs> for me, it's the amount of dye you use changes the consistency. So like, if you want, like, pour some more dye in that and see if you can make it darker. Maybe the yeah the concentration of your mixture. Yeah. Remember, dye goes a long ways. <laughs> Especially when you pour half the bottle. Shh. I feel like it's splashing on my face, and I'm gonna have little dye dots all over my face. You got face. purple on your arm. I know. That's okay. Well, I was orange yesterday. I'm purple. So you can be green today. I'm green every day. 
gives a new meaning to your green thumb. <laughs> <laughs> On the Howdy Doody Show, Mr. Green Jeans. There you go. <laughs> okay. So it's like it's just like a really pale tie dye situation. Speaking of which, Denny, I think we need to wet this. For what? We're going to try to fold it up into like a folded tie dye. Have to wet it. Fold it. Mm. Oh, you're gonna try to tie dye some stuff. Mm-hmm. That's all. Okay. okay. That's it. Denny, you really ruined this with your splotch. You're just gonna point that out. All <laughs> of Oh, that looks fun, Melissa. Some pink. Oh, and had the brain on it. Yeah, you can hold it up a little higher there. Yeah. Did you do more soap or more dye? Or did I did you... more dye in this. This one's, like, I, last couple times I tried the pink, it was really light. Mm -hmm. So I did a lot more dye. So I think the thing would be just kind of mess around with the ratios a little bit. Yeah. Or just get a new straw loose. I know, though. There's plenty of them. Yeah. And I have even more back. Starting to get to the point where I'm worried that purple lips. Well, guys, this is kind of soothing. Lots of fun. <laughs> uh, Berkeley, what kind of issues are you noticing on the website? I'll just ask. You said he was having issues on the website. Oh, that's good. Now we have purple everywhere. <laughs> Fun with dye. Yeah. Sometimes I feel like the bubbles at the bottom have a lot of color to them, and then the longer I blow the bubbles, the less color is coming up. Add more like water. The, the, clearer the, the clearer they get. Add more water, add more dye. And well, I'm thinking raise the height. Oh. So... This is part of the reason you can... Or shorten your cup? Yeah. This, this is why I don't do full-size cups, because I don't want to blow them all the way over. Gotcha. Got them all wet and watered them up. They watered nicely. Got your leather all watered up. My colors aren't as fun as yours, Melissa. Well, you picked your colors. I did pick my colors. I picked fun colors. You want to use a stencil? Yeah, let's do this with a stencil. Let's see what happens. Let's pick one. The where mermaid scales come out really fun. Where did the stencils come from? Uh, Hobby Lobby, Walmart, oh, okay. uh, everywhere. So they're not like they're not like special stencils. They're no. just like coloring stencils. Just, yeah, like painting stencils. Can you throw me the mermaid one? Yeah. I like that one. It's my like your favorite. Oh. Okay. What color are you gonna do? That is a good question. I'm gonna try the turquoise. Think about that, Denny. I think it's delightful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're so approving. Uh, <laughs> delightful. And water. What if we do it on square? Wad and wrinkle. That's, that's the way to do tie dye. Wad and wrinkle. Wad and wrinkle. I wish I had a rubber band, but I guess it'll stay. I do that. It should. Well, 
it may not be with bubble, we may just put some. You want to want some of this? I need a whole lot. You want to We figured out how to keep you less noisy, Liz. Don't tell my husband. Yeah, don't give don't give him any tips or tricks. <laughs> So Melissa, it's a little difficult. Like I feel like I'm gonna move the stencil around when I place my bubbles. But you have tiny bubbles too. Well, I was just thinking that's about how they came out. We probably ought to tell these people don't drink too much of this diet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> wouldn't be good for your health. At least not all at once. There we go. There we go. There's one more to wad up. Let's see what's going on in the chat room. That's kind of green. It is kind of green, but it's turquoise, so I mean, it's very blue in the cup. Oh, that's cool. That is neat. Okay. Yeah, that looks really like cool. It. So that was pink and purple, or fuchsia and purple. So I had a question about, could you do it on crust with Orion dyes? Um, there is the liquid Orion. I don't know why you couldn't mix it. Yeah. It is rather expensive though. So I, um, I don't know if that would be my first choice of dye to use. Lisa, why don't you grab those big panels and start dyeing some of that, that envelope thingy, Kay. and then I can assemble it while you guys do other things. What, what color do you want? Whatever color you want would be fine with me. Um, let's see, we're using silver thread, so go for everything. Let's do green and blue. Okay. Uh, was there a certain ratio of water dye soap no. that you were... Kind of just have to play with it until you figure out the the best for your dyes. Yeah. So I noticed, like with the pink, I need more dye, whereas the purple I don't need as much because yeah. it stays pretty dark and strong. Could I use your purple? But if you use more soap, does it make the does it make it heavier to carry more dye? Not that I've noticed. Yeah. But. Let's see. We'll use a lot of soap in this one. You really just like you're just popping bubbles on leather. Okay, so that's about a good amount. Four tablespoons in there yeah. of soap. Did you gauge that from the education you gained on your cooking show? Yeah, <laughs> I did. Yeah, that was about a quarter cup or so of water. <laughs> no salt, no pepper. You don't weigh everything in grams, Tony. No, we're not that precise. I have a five-year-old. I'm good if I can get it down to quarter <laughs> cups. <laughs> okay, let's see what this looks like. You know, oh, can you give me a paper towel? I can. That'd be cool. They are. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay. It's not perfect, but it's okay. Oh, that's not. Nice. I like it. Yeah. It's very, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, but George said he accidentally drank his. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. George, do we know when the craft aids are going to be available? That would be a Tony question. It would be. <laughs> it's it's like when you see it later into a movie. It's coming soon. Yeah. So with the craft aids... Uh, Ooh, we had a movement carve like the car you're right the carve aids we had some movement within our teams and uh some employ and it just keep that on the, the face <laughs> keep it on the puppy pad there <laughs> would you mind dabbing my <laughs> uh actually it looks pretty Denny, good do you know how to dab there we go i got it 
<laughs> it's in your, it's like right in your eyebrow, so it's fine. Yeah. yeah. Like you got carried away with your pencil this morning. Uh, so back to the, did you what, you, what do we call them? The car carvades. The carvades. The movement art. Carve right. Carve right. Well, make up your mind. These are carve right. <laughs> um, we have to make packaging and everything for it, and the team member that we had that was making the packaging and stuff like that is no longer with us. Got another job opportunity and proceeded that route. So we are waiting till the catalog gets done. So and then we can work on. Then we can work on getting the. Yeah. God. Hexagons, guys! <laughs> Your favorite. <laughs> they are the best of guns, you know. Yeah, did anybody watch? Did we talk about that? We the have other talked day? about it, yeah. Has anybody in the chat watched Hexagons or the Best of Guns? We should. It's it's the best video ever. <laughs> you should learn about why Hexagons are the best of guns. <laughs> it's also the best video title in the world. <laughs> It just makes me so happy. Bees are great. I can tell that. Puts, <laughs> puts a smile on your face. <laughs> it's just a great video. We should just play all 13 minutes of it right now. <laughs> Everybody pull that up on your second screen. And while you're watching us, just giggle oh, yeah. along to Hexagons or the Best of God. If you don't have a second screen, just run out and buy one. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Who doesn't have three or four monitors anymore? Somebody asked me if you know how to get the stains out of the table. Yeah, uh, pull this stuff off and put down new stuff. <laughs> <laughs> now, once you, uh, this is rubber. Man, I like it, that. It's actually a bit porous, so when you get you dyed, leave it, it, like it kind of sucks it up. I would leave it like Likes that. Likes to keep it. I like that. It's kind of marble. So, so Lindsay went to Tucson this year. And, and she's like, I need somewhere to pull my laptop. And I was like, oh, I've got this really nice document holder that I've made, you know, forever ago just out of an oil tan leather. And so I lent it to her and I asked her today, I was like, hey, do you have that? And, and she was like, yeah, it got some oil on it. So I need a new one anyways. Because that one has a big spot on it. I mean, it's still fine. But so this can be my new document pad holder. Yeah. It probably could use Gray is my favorite an air compressor if you didn't want to use but. How much fun is it to blow the bubbles? I think an air compressor would be a little... Splashy? Yeah. Cause, and then you have to stop and place bubbles. Listen, I think you got too much in there. Yep. She's going to need another puppy pad. We, we experimented with <laughs> a lot of stuff in there, and it, it's overflowing. We could pour a little bit out. It may be overflowing, but I like the, how it's carrying more of the dye, it seems, in the bubbles. And it could be the color that you're using as well. Well, um, I think it's maybe blue, some parts so. are light, and then you put on another batch of bubbles, and they might be dark. So the navy blue is, I mean, that looks more navy blue now that it's drying. This looks gray as I go. Are we going to put Are we gonna put some pink in there, too, or some purple in there? No, we're going to leave it in a nice gray tone for me. Mm. Mm. It's classy. I have gray thread. Well, it's actually turning more blue as it sits. It's still great. Now, is that gray dye that you used, or is it... <laughs> Everyone wants to know how to make gray dye. This is navy blue. Use navy blue and add soap and navy, water to navy blue and soap and water. <laughs> this there is the go. Fenici navy blue gray dye. Yeah. We did. Yeah, this one is just really... With the, with the black Fenici, we watered it down quite a bit and uh, got to get a pretty good gray out of it. What you what are you thinking there, Liz? I don't know. I'm just looking at colors. Those mermaid and fish scale things look really cool. Yeah, they do look pretty fun. Yeah, they're fun to play with. They're my favorite. Though I kinda like the chicken over there too. Chicken. Who doesn't like a good chicken? Shelton said he. Uh, Shelton's custom said he's not going to use hit or uh, do this in his Springfield leather shirt. I know. I specifically thought about my clothing this morning before I came in, and I was like, "No fancy shirts today, guys." I've just given up on my clothes. They all have dye. <laughs> Mine all have cement. <laughs> they do. You once you get it on there, it's on there. It, 
Are you good with that? That's beautiful. Take one of these out. You're just gonna be the secret. She wants one color. All the same color? All the same color. Oh, boring. Sorry. Monotone kind of person. The inside's gonna be real fun though. Oh, Why don't you put down a new puppy cat? Can you grab us one of those, somebody? <laughs> you don't want the back to be all blind? Melissa well, comes to videos and makes a giant mess. Here, I went and got those orange dye hoses. What are we doing with them? Looking at them. We're looking at them. For puppy pad weights. <laughs> <laughs> They're multi purpose. <laughs> Oh, so this is interesting. So I was wondering why my colors were so much darker than the last ones that I did. So most of these um, coasters that we've been working with are import leather. So they're a lot whiter. Um, your base is a lot paler. This I'm starting with Herman Oak. And so all of my colors, uh, because Herman Oak is so much darker um, as a tannage, it's not as bright and fun. So points to make there. Yeah, that's something about leather too. Everyone... Uh wonders what the the color difference is between the the imported leather and the herman oak herman oak uses basically oak bark mm -hmm. and uh, these import leathers i don't know what kind of trees they use but they do use a tree bark of some sort but yeah. it's a different color and makes the leather different. yeah that's not nearly as exciting but it did resist tony i remember Probably years ago off. on the west coast they used to use redwood bark hmm. to tan leather and it turned out really cherry looking cherry colored yeah I know mimosa is a popular one. Yeah. I'd have to. I wonder if that's what they use uh, for this import leather. Mimosa. I don't know. Oops. Oh, you're dripping. Oops. Oops. Bubbles. It'll make it. <laughs> it's got handfuls of bubbles. <laughs> you want to take a break and clean up a little bit? <laughs> yeah, I might as well get it done. Just get it over with. <laughs> That looks really cool. I like the gray. Yeah, this definitely seems like a good project for import leathers. Yeah. Um, as opposed to Herman Oak. Like, just the, the color difference here between... Like, I use the same two color dyes on these two things. So, Herman Oak, Dark Coaster, Import Light Veg. So. Somebody is saying, using a bubble machine. Oh, uh, yeah. You just spray <laughs> bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> Just see what you get. It could be a new art form, guys. Let's bubble Why art leather. Why wouldn't that work? Why wouldn't that work? I don't, I don't. I, hard to change between colors. It would be hard to change between colors. My daughter has a little lawnmower that she pushes around the yard that makes bubbles. Just put some dye in there. I just follow her around. Them. Lawnmower <laughs> died. Lawnmower died. <laughs> oh, I fail. Okay, we're going we're gonna to do this. That was probably smart. There we go. It's the back. I need this to be it. perfect. <laughs> don't mind. <laughs> um, would you like to blow the bubbles in? No, because I don't. I can't do this. Look! Look how awesome that is. You know, you when think, this started, I I thought, well, shoot, that shaving cream cream dye deal was a lot messier than this is going to be. I was wrong. Yeah. <laughs> you know, there's less shaving cream. <laughs> what do you think doing uh, filigree and then putting something like this behind it? You can do that. Yeah. You can do you whatever can you bright, want. One of those bright colors. Don't be dripping on there. Liz will get mad again. The I'm problem is with filigree. Oh, Liz. Got really... Wait. What? Hold on. I have folded up some, some leather for, like, tie-dyeing. All right. Admit something right now to the world. I have never tie-dyed in my life. Well, <laughs> today's the day. <laughs> uh, you're not going to do it on a t-shirt. You're going to do it on leather. Uh, just uh, put some, drop some leather, or drop some, drop some leather on it, Liz. Should drop I use the bubble dye? Uh, you can yeah, try it. Or, whatever you got there. Or just pick it up with a straw and use your finger and right. kind of drop it around. It's purely experimental anyway, right? This is going to be weird. Yeah, here, we got some. Denny's wadded up some pieces. I've got a piece that's all twisted up. 
I know. Okay. <laughs> I know. Back in the day, when oh, I was a happening. younger guy, this was a little baby. Terrible. But uh, tie dye was a pretty, pretty prominent thing, and I think they would I mean, like take back. a shirt and tie it in knots yeah. and stuff, and mm -hmm. throw it in a dye in the washing machine or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then when you unfolded it, it, part of it was dyed, and part of it was Oops. funky. Yeah, I can tell that you've never done tie dye. Never in my life. Wow. Now everybody this is knows. gonna be nice though, I can tell right now. <laughs> it is awful. It's great. Guys, I'm ready to go spill some stuff. stuff. Alright, that's gonna look good though. Yeah. yeah, and the nice thing about bubble dye is it dries really quickly. I mean maybe this will be okay. I, I'm gonna switch colors. Oh hey, okay. let's just Oh look. I think I ruined this. Oh look. <laughs> I'm green. <laughs> maybe double up on the gloves. Okay. Let's branch can. I was just using the bucket we brought in. Okay. Here we go. Denny and I have. We've learned our lesson. Okay, I'm gonna go. Uh, I might need a second or two to dry. I do the front panels. You do the front panels. Yeah, I'm gonna start doing front panels. Okay. We'll, we'll keep playing okay. with things. Yeah. Um, do we want more colors or do you want to keep the colors we got? You do whatever oh. you want to do. Right, everybody. Would you like to uh, yeah. tie dye? Yeah. Oh, you remember my buttons. These look awesome. Did we get a rivet? No, I didn't grab string either. Did you some other colors in there? Hello? Yes, sir. Here it comes. <laughs> Give me some red. Straws in the way. You want actual red? Uh, oh no, I like this. They're gonna be one homely piece of leather. I think. Homely? <laughs> I, I think it's gonna be cool. <laughs> that one's kind of the twisted up one, so you could probably do something in the center of it. Try to use more, uh, there you go. More what? I was gonna say, more concentrated. Okay, I'm gonna straighten this out now and look at it. Because that's what the deal is. I was right. There's one homely piece of leather. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you just dumped a bunch of dye all over it. Yeah, this is drop dyed. Yeah, it's something. Oh, there we go. Make a total mess over here. Yeah, this is, especially if you're using the water-based ones, this would be a really great project for the kids. I don't, I don't know yeah, if I really... Outside in, outside in the hot summertime. Exactly. We're coming up on that. No time for that. Put them in some old <laughs> underwear. <laughs> from outside with a bunch of dye. I feel like it needs to be submerged. I really need to have that. do you know anything about acid or fiber reactive dyes on leather? Not tried those yet. Yeah. It's on my list. I'm getting there. Just gonna let that sit. I'm getting rinsed off after. We open up that fold again that we did. Actually, actually, that's kind of neat. Liz, you win. So you far, win. you win. It's interesting. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna grab. The only glove we've yep. got left. Just keep one hand clean. Period. It's fine. <laughs> I'm taking mine off. You guys better not give me another job. Oh, but Denny, wait. <laughs> Sorry. 
I believe it's very not strong. Is that a French seam? What do they call that seam that you're doing? I think it's, yeah, French seam. We'll see if I did that enough. Kind of went over the hole a little bit too far, but I can probably still wiggle my. Are you guys watching me? I, I was, yeah. Okay. I switched off because Liz, what do you get when you cross a frog with a button? Uh, a ribbit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That was the question. That was the answer. answer. No answer. <laughs> she gets it. I didn't put the answer up there, did it? <laughs> the resist works pretty well. Hi. Yeah, that worked real well. Molly on Facebook had a really good um, suggestion for the tie dye stuff. Mm -hmm. If we did it with an airbrush and you airbrush it on there, maybe that would probably. Would. Yeah, if I don't have an airbrush. Thing. Oh well, you got more dye, don't you? Well, yeah, but I've taken my gloves off. Well, I feel like this oh, one might really turn out if we rinse it, but I don't want to go rinse it. That's okay. Is that the uh, the panici? Yes. I was going to say that one because it's way less viscous. It's good. It wow, viscous. It should uh, work better. Yeah, that one looks kind of cool. What are you sewing up over here, Liz? So this is the document pad. You can do it. So the document pad holder. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's just like a big envelope. It's just a really envelope. big envelope. It's it's really nice. Yeah. It it holds like a legal size document. Or a small laptop. Yeah. It's looking more blue now. It is, as it dries, it looks, but it still looks real good. Yeah, it does. That's a nice color. What other jokes we got? We got any other jokes? We got any other jokes? Uh, Liz, did you back pitch? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yes, on these live videos, we have to realize that we're being uh, watched closely. Criticized. Uh, yes, it, we're being uh, mon monitored. <laughs> Did he have your tooling? Are you doing tooling classes now? You still got tooling yeah, classes? Yeah, I'm still doing tooling classes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they're going well. You ever thought about doing another uh, saddle class? Uh, I thought about it, but if I did, I couldn't do the tooling classes. There's really only one day a week that's feasible to do the classes, and that's Saturday. Yeah. <clears throat> so I can only do one or the other. Maybe it's for too long. We can actually get that classroom we keep talking about put in here. Where do you think that might be? <laughs> um, in the alley. In the alley. That would be better than nothing. Yeah. The attic? That would right. be a little warm. Yeah. I've even thought about coming in here on Saturday, you know, but then you guys aren't around. But this, these tall tables aren't really conducive. You can't get your knees under them, you know. You need a regular sit-down table. Uh, that seam is a little wide, but it'll work. Um... Liz, you sewed from the back, and then you sew back up on the front. Um. Yeah. So I sewed. I sewed my two panels together with a stitch down the middle. Oh, slide and then towards the slide towards the middle. There we go. So I sewed <laughs> down the middle seam. I sewed it together here, and then I folded this backwards, and it did okay on there. But then you just you put two stitch lines down the front. 
um, guys which holds those two flaps. Make it look like it's not together. a chicken anymore. <laughs> so now we've got that done. Oh, and I need to do my top edge here. So we we bell knifed all of these edges, and then this top edge is folded down. We stitch across it. Uh, Denny, do you want to go into the detail of your tooling classes? Okay, I will. Uh, they are on Saturday. I have a, a novice class in the morning starting at 9 o'clock. It goes uh, to uh, noon. And then I have an intermediate to advanced class in the afternoon that starts at uh, 1.30 and goes to 5. Uh, and they're both the uh, basic classes. I just, we do a project on both of them, but the, the novice class, we just do some uh, coasters. But the main thing isn't the project, it's uh, learning how to use the tools and... and uh, you have basting tape over there? Basting tape. Is there no. something in that pocket? Um, behind that knife tool? Yes. Okay. That's too wide. Oh. Thanks. It's Okay, but anyway, yeah, uh, the basics uh, are uh, using the tools, and in the, the novice class, I think there are seven or eight different stamping tools that I uh, have to get, and in the advanced to it, to intermediate, there's about uh, 12 different tools. Uh, in the advanced class, we do a, a field notes journal, you know, to start off with, and uh, it's a little more involved than, than the beginners but uh, you know they're both basic classes but but you learn a lot and it's basically Sheridan style carving is what I'm teaching but anyway I'd love for people to come <laughs> they uh, they each of them are two Saturdays so I generally start a, a class on the first Saturday and it's the first and second Saturday of the month and then I start another class on the third Saturday and it's the third and fourth Saturday it's hard to explain that to people because people always say, uh, you know, they, they don't understand what I'm saying. <laughs> they always say they don't understand what I'm saying. <laughs> Did you understand that? Perfectly. <laughs> a guy in a leather jacket told me that if I gave him 100 bucks after six weeks, he would pay me 500 Turned out just to be a Ponzi scheme. Instead of a Ponzi scheme, it was a Fonzie scheme. It's not a Fonzie scheme, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a joke I would tell. Yeah. Never mind, have to do with cooking shows, though. Yeah, cooking shows, yeah. <laughs> well, those are pretty important. You get pretty. Uh, or involved. talking. Is it a talking show or a cooking show? <laughs> Mostly talking, from what I've seen. <laughs> But you talk about really good things, you know, really good stuff. Talk about food? Talk about getting ready to start. <laughs> I hadn't moved it. Well, that's nice. It's a nice bead. What are you sewing on here, Liz? Oh, I'm just doing a rolled top edge. A rolled top edge. So this is the end oh, guide, yeah. so the front flap. Actually, chicken's starting to come through now. Look at that drying. It's not bad. I can check it. It says cluck. Oh, I see. Oh. That's very artistic right there. Uh, we got some of our roses. I saw, I saw that. Here, let me switch that over to camera. This looks like something me and Allie did. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we, we painted with resist. Maple no. fire. Hey, hold that. And hi. What's that other one? You know what they call that? A bee. A bubble bee. A bubble, a bubble bee. bee. <laughs> <laughs> the dad jokes are strong today. <laughs> I really need a rivet. A rivet? I guess I could set it later. I can set it later on one of those little feet things. Oh, we, we'll do that. It's fine. Uh, the tooling, the tooling classes are two Saturdays. Yes, they each last 
two Saturdays. Shall we attempt to explain There'll it be again? a class the first and second Saturday of each month and the third and fourth Saturday of each month. Jessica says, for people that are multiple states away, have you considered doing a one-day class, maybe? Uh, yeah, as a matter of fact, I'm doing one this week. This week. Uh, get get a group of people I, together. You know, I, I've thought about reconfiguring the classes and having them last one full Saturday. It's just a lot of people don't have that kind of attention span. Yeah. You know. We could do it until lunch and then take lunch and then come back and do it afterwards. Well, yeah, that's the way we would have to do it. Yeah. Yeah. But, I don't know. Yes, the answer is yes. I would consider it. As of, as of right now, I'm not doing that. But to, if you're serious, I could get serious. All right. Sounds like they might and, want to get serious. And and we'll just redo everything that we've been doing. <laughs> you don't have to redo it. Just compile. Just have the first Saturday in the morning and the second Saturday in the evening. Okay, now <laughs> you're confusing me. <laughs> I agree with you. I agree. We could do a one day class. And, you know, but you, you people that think you're multiple states away, I had a lady from Louisiana. We're in Missouri. Louisiana is two states away. And she came up here two different Saturdays and uh, took the class. There's another girl from, uh, from uh, Texas? St. Louis? No, St. Oh, Louis. Louis. And she came up. When I was doing my saddle classes, uh, there was a guy from Pea Ridge, Arkansas, that came up here every Saturday for 14 weeks. Woo! Every Saturday he made that trip. And that was like a five-hour drive. So That's some dedication. If you you got to be serious. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've got that on here. Even I don't have a ruler, so I'm not measuring, but I think it's good. What Jenny says about your eye is just fine. Sometimes. Not. <laughs> then the back panel on this, I don't know if you guys want to meet here. There you are. Okay. The back panel gets sewn onto the front panel at the bottom, um, and it creates a, a little look that you can see on that front edge. I'm sure there's a measurement that I should go by. I don't actually have the instructions for this with me. I've just made a couple, so go in by me. I'm going to have to get you an RV, Denny, for this suggestion I'm getting ready to do. <laughs> okay. What is that? The Denny traveling class? Yep. Okay. okay. Denny I'll down do for that. that. I'll do that. <laughs> Hit the road in an RV. Go just... from state to state. I think your yeah. wife would be a pretty big fan of that, she would, too. She'd be in. She would be. Listen, guys, we like having Denny here. <laughs> Who else would I sit next to every day? Exactly. Larry Schmidt wants us to take a picture of the puppy pads afterwards and print it on an SLC shirt, and that would look good. I mean, it's tie dye, quite colorful, <laughs> except for the gray one. That was just pretty black. There's some pretty big black spot splotches in there. That looks pretty neat, Melissa. You can see that. Details coming through yeah. as it dries. Yeah, as it dries, I imagine it'll even show up more and more. Uh, uh, we didn't bring a spray bottle. Is that water or is that cleaner? Big cleaner. Okay. I have anyway. a giant jug of water. We don't have a sponge, do we? It's okay. I'll just work the steam down. I just don't want to. If you need information on Denny's class, uh, shoot us a Facebook message and we'll shoot you a PDF. I haven't put it on the website, but that might be something good to put on the website. You can give us a holler and Denny can talk to you. Yeah. Denny does talk on the phone. He does. He does that. 
He is. He's pretty talented. <laughs> <laughs> the man of many talents. Yes, I can answer the phone. Sometimes I pick up the wrong line a lot of times. <laughs> so I just want so you to don't expect it quick. If you, you know. guys are watching me, I really should be doing this with contact cement, but I didn't bring any, so I'm doing it with basting tape. But because I have to finish these edges later, this is not ideal, but it's what I have, so it's what I'm using. It, I mean, it'll be fine. They're watching you, but I haven't seen them judge yet. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably because I'm so quiet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they forgot about you. The day of the traveling road ship. <laughs> yeah, that's they're not gonna let me out of here. <laughs> I'd be down though. Say, but Rusty, this could I'll be big saying. bucks for you. <laughs> I think I think Rusty would kick me off that bus, and he'd go. Yeah, <laughs> Rusty's a sucker for a road trip. Matt's toaster came in here again. I wonder if he knows that his toaster is getting on YouTube while he's at work. <laughs> You have ice. You put ice on the leather and drip dye onto the ice and it will melt oh, and make nice patterns. I did that with snow. That's what the turtle I showed you I did. Yeah. Snow dye. Oh, I have that. It's, it's Apparently you can just dye with anything. I have it at my desk. <laughs> I might run and go get it. You ought to go get it. Oh. Clean up a little bit while you're at it. <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan yeah. said, too, but we're silently judging you. Thank you. <laughs> silently judging. Oh, Darcy said she missed the puppy pad. There you go. There's her. I think that would make a great t shirt. There we go. Okay, we're almost done. That's going to look good. I think that, that tape will hold make a pretty decent edge if you got it right on the edge. Yeah, it should. That's a little bit, it's a little, not quite down here, but I could take a razor blade when we're done and line yeah. everything up. So. Razor blade is in here. She's in the chat. What's up? That's Daryl. Anybody curious? Different razor blade. Is it a different razor no. blade? No. Oh. You were talking about a different razor blade. Oh, these well, yeah. <laughs> but I also am familiar with that razor blade. Seems familiar, says I remember a mention about yeah, reducing dyes from a video, but he doesn't remember which one. Take a picture, show, show this turtle she did with snow. That looked great. Is the leather dye too, or just the turtle? Just the turtle. This was a $25 side. I see. But, yeah. What came out? Beautiful. You can die just about anything in any way. <laughs> oh, well. I want to see something with peanut butter dyed. Peanut butter, <laughs> peanut butter dyed? <laughs> I will figure out a way. I don't, don't ask me where that came from. I said you'd dye anything with anything. I mean, it's raining outside. I guess we could go. Use the rain to dye something. Yeah, rain dyed. Rain dyed. Yeah, I wanted to do the snow dye or ice dye, but it takes a bit of time because you got to wait for everything to melt. So it's not a great video. Yeah. Oh, that razor blade says it's Tim. Oh. Hi, Tim. Different razor blade. Different. Yeah, we're watching you snip. Thanks. Yeah, we, we may have dyed your table again. <laughs> just, just little spots. Yeah, I got Oh, this is going to be the worst backstitch. I'm do this now. See what it looks like. I wonder if it needs to be rinsed. And, like, wipe, let it all, like, the water carry it. You think it would? It's a water-based dye, so it should carry it. Well, let's just spread it out and see how far it leaches. Yep. What do you got going on there? Yeah. We don't know. 
we're in area 51 here. We're doing some experimentation. That was one of the ones that we wadded up, right? Yeah. Cool. It's a good idea. Fine idea. I don't know why it's like still they haven't dried much yet. Uh, what is the weight of a lot of the trees and lids? Um, I've got three to four for the front panels, and then my seams have been bell knifed, and then I did I think it's four to five on the back panel. Mm -hmm. Does that sound right, Melissa? Three, four, all of it was three, four, except for the washers are, were eight, nine. Yeah, the washers are heavier. And then, okay, we still have the edges. The thread burner. The thread burner. We don't use lighters here at SLC. <laughs> Chamois leather would work good to dye. You just do the standard hippie spiral. That's what Razor Boy likes to say. A hippie spiral. A hippie spiral. Yeah. Oh. Looks like Melissa's putting chocolate <laughs> on a pile of ice cream. It does look good. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be eating the dye, Denny. Okay. Now I just gotta put a quick coat of quick shine on here. A quick coat of quick shine. And you're gonna be good to go. Gotta get those washers. I'll go get a rivet. Um, I'll need two. <laughs> what? Nickel. Okay. Small. Probably, but uh, yeah, just small. Me, me, yeah. Quite a mess going on over there. Yep. So what are we doing on Friday, Liz? I don't know yet, Tom. Oh, yeah, we do. Yeah, you. Yeah, we do. I we did. just talked about it. We did. Did you have quick shine? Bless his heart. He never goes anywhere without quick shine. I think he has a holster for it. <laughs> So I'm going to go off. Okay. She never answered your question. No, she didn't. She said that she remembered, but she didn't tell anybody else. What? What we were doing on Friday. Oh. We're gonna, it, Wait till you come back inside. Yeah. You don't have to yell from out there. Thanks. Okay. We are quick shot. Danny's getting rivets. But he's not going to put that foot, and I'm not going to be able. Danny, we're going to have to figure out how to set that inside rivet. Because we don't have that foot in here. How far down is it? Right here. I bet we can stick I was gonna say, corner of that. Figure that out. Um, Why don't you stick it and try to set it on the back of a mallet head? Where's our granite, Tony? Oh, no, right there. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, so on Friday, guys, we are going to try something new and hopefully exciting. Um, we're going to be Zooming with Shelton. Yeah, Brandon Shelton. Brandon Shelton. So he makes um, bench tan leather hat bills and leather hat patches. So we're going to talk a little bit about 
how he started his business and how much it's grown. I think he said four months or something like that. So what he did before, how he grew it, and what he's doing. Yeah, so we're just going to sit down and we'll have a little chat. I don't know, can we do something? What do you got going on over here, Melissa? I don't know. I'm experimenting. <laughs> I wanted it back up and then crunched it, and it kind of did that. Yeah. But I feel like I need to rinse it because there's kind of some globs on it. All right. Perfect. But just keep doing stuff like this. Okay, you just hold it there. Um, it's getting closer to tie dye. Yep. Good job. Boom. Okay. We used a small rivet because it was the right length. This is gonna be so cool. It is. It can be a nice little deal. Uh, yeah. I like. I like it where it's dark in some right? places. No, that actually came out really well. Like some yeah. of those splotches really just right. kind of blended. They added to it. Yeah, yeah. they blended together. So let's yeah. see here. Yeah, let's do it. Now I'll do this and then I'll just tie on that string. There we go. And document pad. And then. Got some good old flat kangaroo lake here. This is just, I think, some 330 seconds. Just get some sort of length. It's starting to look more tie dye. It is. Is it going to more maybe like the shaving cream dye? Maybe. Possibly. It's all an experiment. You <laughs> <laughs> just keep wadding it up, smashing it up. Man, your hands are still. Yep, I gave up on the gloves. Yeah. <laughs> it happens every time I do this. Hey, Denny, when when we would finish this, would you use Neat's foot oil? You think Neat's foot oil would do anything different to that, or how would you it would. condition it? Yeah, probably a light coat of Neat's foot oil or. Or vegetable oil of some sort, maybe. I think my big, especially with this, I don't want it to get any darker, which yeah. it's, it's going to. And that was actually one thing I was watching um, some of Orion's videos on Instagram. And they said it's really important that you cover the entire base of what you're doing because this, like, veg will get darker. It patinas. It ages with time. And so this isn't going to always be this nice light background. So it's really important that you, you know, you cover the whole thing. But yeah. we'll, we'll see how this turns out. Yeah. You could also just saddle soap it or yeah, uh, I could shine mine. Any kind of a conditioner. What is the conditioner that's not supposed to darken the leather? Well, uh, Big four. Big four. Big four. <laughs> Big, yeah. Yeah. Just put something on there. There we go. Oh, you know what? I did that first one wrong. Gotta go sideways. And there's the document pad holder, everybody. So once again, this is a kit that you can buy. You can get it in veg, or you can buy it in an oil tan if you don't want to have this much awesome fun, um, or you know whatever you want to. Believe the uh, veg get... tan is an oil tan back with a veg in front too. Oh, and the, okay. Yeah. We had somebody that called and said they the neat called and wanted his foot back. But how do you get the oil out of its you feet? Want to do his foot back? <laughs> out of the do meat. you have to boil them? Oh, you boil their feet? Boil their feet, yeah. So you can't give them back their feet. Well, well that's my attempt at And Remove foot before boiling. Awesome. Tony, you want to do an overhead real fast? So no. people can look at my weird stitching? Ooh. There we go. Several ladies here want this done on bag. Do you finish the leather as usual, or would you needs foot, or would needs foot ruin the effect? Well, like we were just talking, it would darken it some. Yeah, so it really depends on the colors that you want to come out with. Um, once again, starting just with import leather, I think is really going to be probably the main thing. So start with import. It shouldn't get as dark. You can oil it before. Yeah. Um, you know, let that dry and then start doing your dyeing and your bubbling um, and then put a real good sealer on it. Your colors will be more vibrant. Yeah. That import leather. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. I'm pretty excited about that. that I am good. too. That, that looks really cool. cool. Yeah. That looks like you bought it somewhere. What? <laughs> what? She could have bought the leather Charge from your money for that. <laughs> awesome. Well, that actually looks kind of fun too. That does. I don't know what you would do with it. I, I don't know. <laughs> it's my attempt at tie dye between the two of them. <laughs> You could put some earring shapes on it. Or wrap your marbles in it. Wrap your marbles in it. Like, that doesn't really show it very well. It would make a cool front of, like, a bag. Like, a bag flap or I think something. one that dries, too. It, the full effect of that's not going to be reached until it dries. Yeah. No. And it's that's going to look pretty cool, I think. It's about the same color you as my hands. <laughs> wear it as gloves now. <laughs> oh, there you go. Turn it into a glove. glove or a mitten. <laughs> a well, one of each color. There you go. Oh, gosh, guys. So Friday's going to be a little bit different. We, I'm still trying to figure out how we're going to video you. That. What are we doing? Mm-hmm. We're going to... A fellow tooler um, from Tennessee, Brandon, is going to be with us. We're going to have a Zoom meeting with him. He does um, the bills of hats. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then hat patches on it. Tool. So he does a tool uh, bill. So he's going to tool for us. He is. He's going to show us how he does it because each hat is kind of made a little bit different. Because they're handmade. I mean, the, uh-huh. the hats, even when, or they're mass produced, so they're a little bit different between all of them. Cool. So we'll yeah. see how that goes. He wants you, do, he wants you to do one too, so that he can have a. He's going to he's gonna have to uh, email you a list of materials that I need. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to need leather that we have, and then your tools, and just wing it, and then your mallet. Oh, I mean, your maul. What do you use? Well, do I need a pattern to cut this stuff out? Mm-hmm. He's going to show you how to make the pattern. Sorry, I'm talking over here. I was going to say, come join us. I'm out of this. <laughs> yeah, so. Okay, we'll what's do his that. name? Brandon. Brandon, I'm here. <laughs> Tell him what to do. <laughs> I'll be here. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. We'll do whatever. I'll do whatever you tell me. It'll be it'll be fun. Yeah. We're going to have his... his uh, Video up there. He's going to be in his little shop. Tell us a little bit about his business. Okay. It'll be fun. We're getting fancy, guys. All We're right. just trying to, we always, what do we always say? What do Rusty and Kevin say? We just want to make you guys successful. And so this is a, a little success story that we're going to share with you. And hopefully that we've been a part of that. And it seems like maybe we have, in a way. So, so. if you want to share out, share something with us and reach out to us about your success story, then yeah, we'll pull you up on a video. Yeah. You can do something. Yeah. We're here for cool. you guys. Yeah. Otherwise, right. we wouldn't be here. Let's see. Let me see if I have any questions. Oh, hydro dipping. Coming soon. <laughs> you did some with paint. Do a video there, paint. There, yeah. So I have done the acrylic pouring, um, which we can do a video on that too. Uh, I've got everything set up to start doing the hydro dipping and then uh, alcohol water paint, like doing the alcohol Face dyes with water and alcohol and basically making watercolors. Melissa likes to play with dye. Yes. Uh, and this alcohol deal is really prevalent. Too. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> uh, and we will, we'll let this dry and we'll, we'll, we'll either make something pictures. out of it or we'll show you what it looks like on Friday. Oh, and I actually, I finally finished my fashion belt from a few weeks ago and oh. I'm wearing it. So I will. You, well, oh. I mean, I can zoom here. Let me walk. I'm going to pass through this camera. going to pass through. So we've got. Hold on, let me. I gotta. It's weird. You're just gonna. Here, you just. I just stay right just here. Be still, don't move from there. Okay. That is pretty nice. It came out pretty cool. I hand stitched. Nice. Hand stitched the billet on. Um, did you just glue the? No, they're actually they're not glued. They're just folded. Um, oh. I did glue. I did glue the first two so that they stay kind of in place. Like I glued them together that way they're not pulling apart. But otherwise, I just um, hand sewed this side of the billet. The other one's just riveted or Chicago screwed on. And then these are just those strap tabs that I folded in half and punched an oblong slot through. And then I just made a just made a chain. So nice. came out pretty good. Nice. I like well, it. If you didn't see that video, Liz, we'll make you take your belt off here okay. after the video. We'll take a picture and we'll link it. On Facebook. So Sounds good. Back to it. Sounds great. All right. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining us, guys. Be glad that you don't have to clean this up. <laughs> I'll see you. I'll <laughs> <up> leave. <laughs> we'll see you guys on Friday. Bye.